Okay, we've got our measurements, now we need to turn them into a pattern. First thing we're going to do, we're going to get our computer, go online, download a pattern. To get your pattern, go to make my, make my pattern .com. To be able to download the pattern, you will need a user account on the site. Um, no need to worry, signing up is very easy, and I'll show you how to do that. You click at the top here, sign up. You can sign up with any of these social networks. Click here if you just want to sign up with your email, but I'm just going to be using my Twitter account. I have to authorize this app to read my data and then I'll have an account. Now click on your people and add a new person. I'm going to add Joost. That's me. He's male. Submit. This is the profile of Joost. Now measurements I need to add or for the trousers, abdomen circumference, which I measured early, and they are 97 centimeters. When you fill in the value, you can see the value in inches. So if you measure yourself in inches, you can easily check whether everything is okay. Second measurement is the body rise, which was 24. Then we've got seat. Not sure if you can see it very well, but the the measurements that you don't have are grayed out. When I wait, are grayed out, you're on the left side. But you can actually see them quite well on the website. And then the inside leg, which is 90. As you can see, there's room for a bunch more measurements, but this is all we need to make our trousers. So click on patterns. We're going to make um, MMP16 classic trousers slimline. Click the make pattern link. And it will ask you what person to make it for. We only have one defined, so yes, that's me. The trouser bottle width, you can change it, but I'm not going to because it's a good default. Same for the waistband width. Just click make my pattern. And after a while, you'll get to this page and your pattern will be ready. Now, I'm going to be downloading the PDF for A4. But I'm just going to show you on a large format PDF what the pattern looks like. Okay, this is the pattern. Get all the pieces. Of course, it's way bigger. So we're gonna get a, a tiled PDF and my printer prints A4. So this is the tiled A4. I'm just gonna save. Trousers PDF, just put that on the desktop. I'm going to print it. When you print a pattern, make sure, this is important, to not scale it. Right Here it says scale 100%. If it's scaled to fit, you're going to be in trouble. Okay, You want to make sure 100%. This might look different if you have a different, you know, especially if you're on Windows, Linux, or you know some other OS. Make sure it's 100% and that there's no um, scaling going on. Then you just click the print button. Okay, so I have my pattern printed. Um, there's a bunch of pages. One quick thing you may want to check is look for the page that has, um, has this box on it. This box that says make my pattern and uh, the information about the pattern. Because it's also like a scale check. The box measures 6 by 2 inch, which is 15.2 by 5 centimeters. By measuring that quickly, you can make sure your printer didn't uh, rescale the pattern because then you'd be making pants who wouldn't fit in the end, which would be a terrible shame. Um, if you can print these on a large scale printer or plotter, you won't have to do this following step, but I just have a regular printer, so I'm going to tape these together. Um, there's different ways to do it. Um, some people like to put it on the windows because you have these marks in the corners that you have to match, but when you put two pages on top of each other, matching the marks. It's important to see through the pages, so some people use the windows towards the sunlight, 
Um, if you got something that lights up, like a coffee table with a light under it, that's perfect if the table is in glass. I, however, use my laptop and I find that that works really well and I'll show you how I do it. The way I do it is I flip over my laptop so that the, table, the screen is on the table facing upwards. I put on some sort of a white background and put it really bright. That way it's very easy to tape individual pages together. And I do that on the long side so I get all sorts of vertical columns. To tape those vertical columns together, I use the window because it's a bit too big to do on my laptop. And I just put them up one by one and tape them all together until I have a full and completed pattern that I then can cut up to get to the individual pattern pieces. Okay, we got our pattern taped together. Before we take our scissors to it, there's a few things I want to show to you. You have the um, waistband lining here and the waistband, the actual waistband and the waistband lining. This line here is shared between the both of them, so you cut once to separate these pieces and it will be the site of the individual pieces. All the other pattern pieces are isolated, but these are lined together uh, to use up less paper. probably should have pointed out before I started cutting, but these thick black lines, or the cut lines, that's where you cut with your scissor, as you see that I've been doing. These dotted lines there, or the fit lines, and so the space between is the seam allowance. Typically seam allowance is one centimeter. Here this extra seam allowance, we'll get to that. But as you can see here and here, it's all default one centimeter. So just cut on the thick black line. All done. I've got all pieces cut out. Got them all right here. And uh, now that's done, we basically got our pattern. And it's time to start thinking about fabric. Something we'll do in part three. See you soon.